But it's, dude, it's, it is fun to watch when it is just, the, when the elements are that absurd. It's, it's fun to watch. How was it playing in it? It was shocking how yeah. cold it was. Um, and it wasn't like, because you're you're in this the you're by the heaters you're by the you're in the locker room then when you go out on the field it's like the temperature just f- drops right now and you feel it in your hands you feel it in your toes your face like everyone saw Coach Reed's stash like I could feel my mustache hardening up <laughs> it was shocking how cold it was and um, that, that was probably the first game I'd ever caught myself. Like, even during a drive, like, if I got taken out for a play, like, running over to the heaters to, like, warm up my hands and my, my, like, feet to try and get feeling back. Like, it was that freaking cold. Yeah, let's, we're going to get right to the cold part. Uh, It was the fourth coldest game in NFL history with a negative 27 degree wind chill. Uh, The the temperature just ambient was negative four. It was incredible. What, what were guys doing to combat? So, were you guys using uh, hand warmers, feet warmers? I know some guys that uh, they use some heat warmers on their on their hands and or on, in the pockets. Did anyone put their, them in, in their, their sho- shoes? shoes? Did people some, put them in? Yeah, dude, that's and when that, you they know don't it's always. Cold. They also they also that can backfire, you know. In what way? It can burn you. I'm not going to say who it was, but one of the guys ended up putting uh, double socked it up. Double socked. Okay. Foot warmer on top. And then inside the shoe, and then spatted his shoe. Okay. So you got pressure kind of pushing down on it. Ended up getting like himself? two golf size blisters Burns. on the top of his feet. Ooh. Yeah. It was just like looking at it, I was like, damn, dude, that had to hurt the entire fucking game. Did you not feel it? Right. 